Hello viewers, this is Manash welcoming you to the series, You the Oracle Expert, your one-stop shop to learn and practice Oracle Database Administration and Unix with hands-on experiments using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines. Build your knowledge base, confidence, and make your way to be an expert Oracle DBA. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to upgrade an OEM metric extension. In a few of my previous tutorials, I have already explained what is an OEM metric extension, when and how we use it, etc. to solve many real-world problems, like detecting and alerting on ARM and backup failures, detecting an archive log generation spike, an anomaly in application behavior, long-running SQL statements, or active sessions etc if you have not watched those tutorial videos i suggest you watch them first to get a better understanding of today's topic so in a nutshell oem metric extension is an extension to oem's capacity to go beyond its normal metric collection and achieve something extra for us now once you design and deploy a metric extension Requirement may arise to modify or upgrade the metric extension in the future. One way to achieve this is to undeploy the metric extension, delete it, recreate it with the new requirements, and then redeploy it. Although this looks simple, it is not the suggested method because it is time consuming and also during the process you may miss some of the metric alerts and also the historical data that the metric extension has gathered so far. Today I'm going to show you the easier and suggested method to do this by which you can upgrade it and redeploy it on multiple targets with minimum effort. Let's take an example of our already created metric extension that is long running SQL check which used to check the SQL statements which is running for more than 10 minutes. Now suppose we want to modify it and this time we want to have this metric extension check any SQL statements running over 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes. Then what we have to do, first select this metric extension and take a look at the query that is used in this metric extension by going to the actions menu then under actions click on this view, click next to go to the second page and copy the SQL statement that is used by the metric extension and take it to a SQL editor like Toad, SQL Developer or SQL Plus or any SQL editor of your choice. You can take any database to test this SQL statement. I am here connecting to the OEM repository database itself. Let's paste the original query and here Instead of this 10, we want to put a 15 there so that the SQL checks for any SQL statements running over 15 minutes. And upon executing, it is returning no records, means there is no session running or no SQL statement running over 15 minutes. Now it is tested. We'll copy it and we'll go back to our OEM metric extension page. First, cancel this because we did not open the metric extension in editable mode, it was just in the view mode. Now in the list of metric extensions, we'll select the candidate metric extension that is the long running SQL check. Click on the actions menu, create next version. In this screen, we'll not make any change We'll leave everything as it was before. And in this screen, we will replace the SQL statement with the updated one by simply pasting the one that I copied from my Toad window. Click Next. In this screen, we'll not make any change to the columns definitions. Click Next. Credentials will be the same as before. Click Next. 
we don't have to test it but if you want you can still test it by adding one of the targets and run the metric extension against that target we'll skip this test for now click next and finally click finish and we get a confirmation here that the version 2 of the metric extension has been successfully created now we see that our original metric extension that is long running SQL check has two versions here this is version 1 and the second one with version 2 and we also see that the version 1 is deployed on four targets whereas the version 2 is deployed on zero targets it means we just created the new version of the metric extension but we have not deployed on any of the targets yet and before we deploy the new version of the metric extension on the targets first we have to save it as a deployable draft go to the actions menu save as deployable draft once it is saved as deployable draft the next action is to publish the metric extension we need to publish the metric extension so that other administrators in this OEM system are able to use this metric extension. Now we are all set to deploy this new version of the metric extension on the targets. Now to deploy the new version of the metric extension, all we need to do is to upgrade the version of the metric extension on the already deployed targets. Now we see that the older version is deployed on four targets. Now click on this number four it will take you to the screen where you'll be able to see on which targets this metric extension that is the older version of the metric extension is already deployed and we can see that it is deployed on these four database instance targets now we need to select all the targets where we want to deploy the upgraded version of the metric extension then click on this upgrade button and click yes to confirm the upgrade the operation to upgrade the metric extension has been successfully submitted and all we need to do is to refresh this page out of the four targets three are gone and the last one is with a status executing it it means the metric extension is getting deployed refresh the page again and the fourth one is also gone it means in all the four targets the upgraded version of the metric extension has been deployed now let's go back to the metric extension space and we see that the version 1 has zero deployed targets and the version 2 has four deployed targets it means our upgrade operation has been successfully completed on all the targets now we have learned about upgrading but how about downgrading say after you upgraded the metric extension you come to know that there is a bug in your code and it's better to go back to the previous version to downgrade there is always one method to create another version say version 3 with the same older version of the SQL statement and deploy it on the targets with the same method that we just followed but there is one more easier way to do that you select the version that you want to downgrade or undeploy and click on the number that represents the deployed targets and then you select all the targets on which the upgraded version of the metric extension has been deployed then click on the undeploy button so we'll click on undeploy click yes to confirm the undeploy operation the operation has been successfully submitted let's refresh the page and it has been completed now go back to the metric extension and we see that now there is zero deployed target 
for both the versions of the metric extension. It means it is not deployed on any of the targets. Now all you need to do is to select the older version of the metric extension and then click on the deploy on targets button and select the list of targets that we want to deploy this metric extension to. But in this case, we don't want to deploy the older version. It was just for demonstration how to do an undeploy of the metric extension or downgrade. We'll simply cancel it, select the newer version, that is the version 2, click on the deploy to targets, add, select the targets, and then click on the submit button. The operation has been successfully submitted. Refresh the page, it's empty now, it means the version 2 of the metric extension has been successfully deployed on all these four targets. So viewers, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Please hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss an episode in this series for the Oracle DBS or similar educational videos that I am uploading every week.